School buses are big deals at the start and end of the school day, but candidates for the TUSD board are more likely to tangle over what happens in the heart of the school day. Two candidates, incumbent Michael Hicks and Debbie Campos Flinor, are proposing a plan to cut class size and make other improvements, but there is a question of whether they will have the money to do it or if the district's already working on what they want. Not in your sides, Craig Smith, live at McGee Middle School to sort out claims and counterclaims. Well, Guy, question one is whether TUSD will get the millions of dollars it needs to reduce class size more than it already has. Now, the plan depends on the state of Arizona giving up millions of dollars. The courts have ruled that the state owes school districts all across Arizona. But the state is fighting that ruling, so it's not clear just how much the state will pay out if it pays anything at all. Do it. TUSD reduced class sizes for this school year. Some classes had more than 30 students per teacher. TUSD says it dropped sizes in kindergarten, for example, to 24 to 1. Now board member Michael Hicks, who's running for re-election, and candidate Debbie campos Fleener, say it's time to start planning to use state money from a court ruling to cut kindergarten sizes to 18 to 1. That's more of a manageable area for our teachers to manage our, our children and be able to get them to the level of, of the academic standards that we expect from them. And that got shot down by the board, so by the majority of the board. Hicks is often on the losing side of three to two votes on the board. He's trying to tip the balance by helping to elect candidates more in tune with his philosophies. But board president and re-election candidate Adelita Grijalva say TUSD is already developing plans to reduce class sizes and make other improvements if that disputed state money comes through. Board member Cam Juarez says he may file a formal protest because it looks to him like Hicks and Campos Fleener were campaigning on district property. It's fine where uh, when you have an insistence on one board member who's all, you know an incumbent, but is sitting you know shoulder to shoulder with with a uh, with a candidate uh, who who has a plan that. Uh, Really, quite frankly, is, is, is some of it is, is, is based on fact, but some of it, quite frankly, uh, you're pulling numbers out of the air. Now, before we began the news conference, Michael Hicks said he felt speaking in the lobby of TUSD headquarters was okay because it's a public place. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Thank you.